Solar-powered EV car, Aptera. Have you ever wondered why EVs are not powered by solar panels? After all, solar energy is one of the cleanest sources of power, and EVs are all about clean energy. You see, the reason electric cars typically don't have solar panels isn't just because they're pricey. Sure, cost plays a part, but the main deal is their effectiveness, or lack thereof. Imagine slapping a 100-watt solar panel on your car's roof. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, let's break that down. On a sunny day, that panel might crank out around 100 watt hours of energy in an hour. Now, if we pour all that energy into the car's battery, how far could you go? Let's take a Tesla Model 3, for example. It's one of the most efficient EVs out there, clocking in around 200 watt hours per mile. So, that hour of solar juice, it'll barely scoot you half a mile down the road. And that's being generous, if not factoring in losses during charging or the panel's intermittent output. Now, here's where Aptera steps in with their game-changing move. They're decking out their rides with solar panels galore. Why? Well, they've got a clever trick up their sleeve. Instead of slapping a solar panel or two and calling it a day, they're covering the whole car in solar goodness. Sure, a single panel won't get you far, but a whole skin of them? Now that is a different story. Aptera is aiming for a range boost by harvesting more solar energy than your average car. With that much surface area soaking up the sun, they're hoping to squeeze out some extra miles without plugging in. So, let's get to know Aptera a bit better. They're not your typical car company. They're a startup automaker based in sunny Southern California, and they're cooking up something pretty revolutionary, the Aptera. Yeah, no fancy model names here, just straight up Aptera. Aptera's got solar panels plastered all over it, but don't let that steal the show. These panels are just the icing on the cake. The real star of the show? Efficiency, my friend. Let's break it down with a little math magic, shall we? Take, for example, a one liter bottle of gasoline contains a whopping 8.9 kilowatt hours of energy. That's pretty impressive, right? But here's the kicker. When you feed that energy into a traditional gas guzzler like an F-150, you're not getting much bang for your buck. Internal combustion engines are notorious for their inefficiency, slipping up fuel like there's no tomorrow and spewing out heat like it's going out of style. So that 8.9 kilowatt hours It'll barely scoot the F-150 a measly 4.8 miles down the road. But here's where things get interesting. Electric vehicles don't play by those rules. They're like the efficiency superheroes of the automotive world, using up to 90% of the energy they're fed. So that same 8.9 kilowatt hours, it'll take a rear-wheel drive Model 3 a whopping 45 miles. And then there's the Aptera, claiming they can hit an eye-popping 10 miles per kilowatt hour. With that kind of efficiency, the Aptera could stretch that 8.9 kilowatt hours to a jaw-dropping 89 miles. Now, even if it falls short of its efficiency goals, hitting just 70% of that would still mean cruising a cool 62 miles on that same energy. Not too shabby, right? And don't even get us started on the aerodynamics of this EV. I mean, just look at it. With wheels covered and a teardrop shape, it slices through the air like a hot knife through butter. It has a drag coefficient of 0.13, which practically means slicing through the wind with ease, leaving traditional cars in its sleek aerodynamic dust. And here's a little tidbit that slipped right under the radar at first. Zero wind noise inside the Aptera. Picture this, windows down, cruising at 15 miles per hour. You'd expect the wind to be whistling in your ears, right? Well, not in the Aptera. Even with the windows down and the wind doing its thing, it's as quiet as a mouse in there. That's pretty impressive. Now, let's talk tech for a minute, because Aptera isn't just throwing around fancy buzzwords. They're packing some serious innovations under the hood. First up, let's talk about gear reduction boxes. Sure, they might sound fancy, but they also add weight and create more opportunities for friction to sneak in and spoil the fun. So what's the solution? In-wheel hub motors. That's right, one for each wheel, rated at a whopping 50 kilowatts and 1,100 pound-feet of torque. And check out these bad boys. Not only do they pack a punch in the power department, but they also come with integrated dual caliper brakes. Safety first, right? With each motor churning out 50 kilowatts, the Aptera boasts a total power of 150 kilowatts, or 200 horsepower, along with a jaw-dropping 3,300 pound-feet of torque. 
And here's the kicker. Since the motors are right there in the wheels, there's no need for a gearbox. This means the torque at the motor is the same as the torque at the wheel. Simple as that. So what does all this power translink to? Well, how about a zero to 60 time of around four seconds in the production version? And if you opt for the front wheel drive variant, expect it to be just a tad slower. Hey. You can't have it all. Another spec to cover is the materials. So what's the body made out of? Forged carbon composite. The exterior body panels, fiberglass. And despite packing a hefty 40 something kilowatt hour battery, this EV weighs in at a mere 1,800 pounds. Less weight means less rolling resistance and easier acceleration. Simple physics and efficiency, really. Speaking of efficiency, let's talk about the solar power. The Aptera isn't messing around with just a measly 100 watt solar panel like we used in the example earlier. They've cranked it up to 700 watts, spreading them out on the hood, dash, roof, and even the back. Aptera claims this setup will tack on an extra 40 miles of range per day just from soaking up the sun. And get this, they make those solar panels themselves. Talk about self-sufficiency. When Aptera hits the production line, because let's be real, it's a matter of when, not if, the launch version will boast a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now, to put that into perspective, a Nissan Leaf base model also rocks a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. But while the Leaf gets around 150 miles of range, the Aptera try a whopping 400 miles. And that's assuming they hit their claimed deficiency of 10 miles per kilowatt hour. Even if they fall short and hit just 70% of that, you're still looking at a cool 280 miles of range. Later on, Aptera will offer even beefier battery options, with variants boasting up to 1,000 miles of range. Yeah, you heard me right, a thousand miles. And get this, the starting price, a mere $33,000. That's a steal for a ride that can go that distance. Now let's talk about charging. While any EV can juice up from a regular wall outlet, it usually is a slow process, with speeds crawling along at three or four miles per hour. Not the Aptera though. Thanks to its efficiency wizardry, charging from a regular outlet nets you a speedy 10 miles per hour. When it comes to rapid charging, Aptera is aiming for speeds between 40 and 60 kilometers. Now on your average EV, that might sound painfully slow, but on the Aptera, that's the equivalent of filling up at the speed of lightning, clocking at a mind-boggling 400 to 600 miles per hour. Next, let's take a quick peek inside the Aptera. There's a pineapple leather center console, as well as a funky net cup holder thing up top. And while on the topic of interiors, let's talk space, because there is plenty of it. Tons of headroom, tons of legroom, we're talking enough room for a 6'2 person to stretch out comfortably. Heck, you could even catch some sleep back there if you wanted to. While some of this interior bling might not make it into the production version, a few key elements will, like the climate vent surrounding the main screen and those two rear view displays above the steering column. So while the specifics might change, rest assured you'll still be cruising in style. Now let's talk about costs. In some parts of the US, electricity runs about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Charging a Polestar 2 at home costs around three to four cents per mile, a steal compared to gas guzzlers. But get this, at that rate, charging the Aptera at home would cost just one penny per mile. And that's without factoring in solar charging. Talk about pocket friendly. But here's the kicker. Thanks to its incredible efficiency, the Aptera doesn't need a massive battery to go the distance. And that means lower costs and less weight, making it even more efficient. It's a win-win solution. But here's the catch. With great efficiency comes great responsibility. Extra loads like climate control can have a notable impact on your overall efficiency, especially in winter. So while the Aptera might sip electricity like a champ, cranking up the heat might take a toll on your range. And speaking of safety, don't worry, Aptera's got you covered. Despite being a three-wheeler, it's surprisingly stable and will boast a full suite of safety features. And hey, they're even crash testing them just for peace of mind. And now the big question, Will Aptera make it into production? Well, that's still up in the air, but they've made some serious progress and we have no doubt they'll deliver an amazing ride. If they can secure the funding, that is. But hey, they're keeping us updated every step of the way on their YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out for all the latest updates.